Hi, I'm Gamer Tire. This is my a recap for Sonic Prime Season 1, Episode 6 through 8. If you can't support my Patreon page, Anime Tire Tunes, I'm giving away a $10 Amazon gift card in December 2023. If I can get 500 supporters, it costs just $1 a month. You get my weekly work schedule posted every Friday, and my animated sneak peek of upcoming anime videos. And more, this video is sponsored by my merch store, my Patreon page, Emmy Tartoons, my PayPal donations, my gifting site, Throne, and my partnership with W Energy Drinks. More about them later. Episode 6, Situation. Grim. We're back in Egg Yolk City. We see a rebel who's leading the robots to a trap, and several rebels destroy the robots. Then we see Sonic fall from the sky. We see, we see Cyborg Amy... Gathering information that the blue hedgehog has returned. Sonic questions how he's back here. And then, and here when then Knuckles spin, spins through finding the robots. Sonic joins the fight against the robots. And Knuckles asks where he's been. He explains that he was in another world with another Knuckles. And Cyborg Amy is recording what he's saying about the shard. And he's asked about Tails. And Knuckles says he might he might ask him the same thing. When they can, they continue their fight, and then the robots retreat, and Cyborg Amy also leaves without anyone no knowing she was ever there. Eggman as are, are, upset, are upset about the rebels stole their crystal, and they're living off backup energy. And then Cyborg Amy returns. She gives them information about energy crystals and how the evil. Eggman now now the evil Eggman know that there's more than one, than one crystal with this information Sonic has found out that Tails is one of is one who stole the shard and they aren't happy with you know, how Sonic just abandoned them and this will also reveal that Amy who was also reprogrammed by Tails was set back up under Eggman rule and Sonic points out that he was gone a day and they already cooked up a revolution and wrote Rouge points out that he's been gone for weeks. Rouge shows, shows a palm tree surrounded by glass. This is what they're fighting for. Sonic apologizes that he wasn't there when they needed him and says that Tails isn't a traitor. He's, and let's prove, let me prove it to you. Let me fight by your side. <clears throat> Soon Eggman robots show up at, at, at their base. They found them. They go to battle. Three of the Eggmen lead the assault on the rebels. When we, when all hope seems lost, Tails shows up. Sonic speed, speeds up to smashing robots as he hops into Tails' rocket ship like vehicle. Tails flies them into a void of what Tails refers to as shattered space. Tails asks Sonic where he's been, so he explains where he's been. Sonic says to Tails, then they need to go back, but Tails wants to show Sonic something. He shows him another world, and Tails notices that his shoes have changed. And Sonic says he gets new upgrades whenever he enters a new shattered world. And Sonic points out to points out to Tails that the world is empty. He says they can rebuild a new world like the one he lost, the one he never had. But Sonic says that the rebels need their help, but Tails is willing to get him there, but he he's not willing to leave. He's not leaving with him, so Sonic leaves. Then we see the rebels who are fighting the Eggman robots all hop. All hope seems lost, with three Eggmen demanding that they give them the crystal. Then Sonic shows up sh doing a downward spin dash, knocking all, all three Eggmen then they fight the fight rebels versus Eggman. Sonic gets captured by the Eggman in a in a the Eggman in an in an exoskeleton suit. He do he he demands to know where the crystal is. And if he doesn't get his information, he's gonna give see how long he can keep keep it up in the hamster ball and ask about the other world. And Sonic plays dumb. Then he sees Cyber Amy, who, who Sonic doesn't know is back under Eggman rule, and shows Sonic the video she, she recorded of him talking about the shattered, the shard in the in, in another world. 
and Eggman wants to know about it. He gives Sonic the squeeze. Then Tail shows up with the crystal by opening another portal. And Cyber Amy notices that Tails has the crystal and it's powering the ship. And Eggman knows Tails has learned how to travel between worlds. And Eggman is in the robot's battle suit has the other two Eggmen launching the mother ship. Once he's ready, he tackles Tails while everyone is battling the robots. At first, Tails thinks that Eggman isn't th that great, not suspecting that he, it's a trap. Tails gets shot down by Eggman and trapped by the flying flying ship. Episode 7. It takes one to... No, to it takes one to no place. In a, in a flashback, Shadow chases after Sonic and arrives seconds before Sonic shattered the, pris the Paradox Prism. Uh, at the same moment, Shadow uses Chaos Control, teleporting him to the void between the shattered spaces and is trapped there. Back to the present. On this way to rescue Nine, Sonic seems a, sees an important of the Shadow, of Shadow telling him to keep going without stopping. And when he does... When he when he keeps telling him to keep going without stopping, and when he does, his power kick his powers kick in, and he lands in another shatter space, the deep seas of of no place, where he meets Batchen, Sails, Black Rose, and Catterfish, part partying pirates versions of Rouge, Tails, and Amy and Big, led by legendary pirate Knuckles the Dread. They welcome Sonic into their crew as they find his. Speed useful. He helps them defeat Dread's former crew. Dread explains how he and his former crew used to aim for a treasure called the Devil's Lighthouse. That is actually a shard of the Paradox Prism, only for them to end up with their ship suddenly getting wrecked and Dread's former crew deserting him. So I'm getting sights on getting the shard, so Dread makes him the captain. Un and unexpectedly, we wrote. Rusty Rose and Egg Force arrive on the ship and attack. Episode 8. There's no R in team. After after being captured by the Chaos Council, Nine is forced to surrender his Shatter Drive technology to them so that they can use it to conquer the entire Shatterverse. But Nine informs them that Sonic will be needed due to his unique powerism energy to send their entire fleet across the Shatterverse, since the, sh the shards only grant them a limited amount of prism energy, which they were not going to agree on. Meanwhile, in no place, Rusty, Rose, and a submarine full of Batniks attack Sonic and the pirates, who attempt to fight back, but when with, with very little success. After having a drone scan and replicate the shard navigation mod, on Sonic's sneakers, so that he, he so that she can find the prism. Rusty prepares to give the order to destroy the ship, but unexpectedly holds back and orders the Badniks to still d to stand down after seeing her pirate co counterpart Black Rose. As the submarine leaves for the Devil's Lighthouse, the pirate ship starts to sink. Sonic convinces Dread to return. Dread is reluctant to do at at first. But after realizing that the 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 finishing, what that finishing what he's failed to accomplish would restore his reputation as a fear, feared pirate, he resumes command and has his crew use bound and easy materials to keep the ship afloat. They sail to the Devil's Lighthouse and at full speed, dodging the rocks and cap, cap catching up to the Council's submarine and and emerging them in combat. I mean, engaging them in combat, using sea dogs instead of cannons to take out the Batniks on the bo on board. While Dread spin dashes his way towards the Devil's Lighthouse, Sonic and the pirates defeat Rusty and the army of uh, oncoming Batniks. Before Sonic speeds to the Devil's Lighthouse, Dread, who was so suddenly gone mad with greed, gets his hands on the shard and wards off the Batniks trying to take it from him until he he is knocked off the top of the mountain. Sonic gives him, but saves him, but touches the shard and dis disappears back into the void. He is halted and confronted once again by Shadow, who vengefully attacks him after reforming, informing that their original universe no longer exists due to Sonic's actions. 
the end of season one. Thanks so much for 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 watching. Please be sure to support me by buying merch on my online store. I got shirts, mugs, hoodies, phone cases. Um, support my Patreon page, Anime Tower Tunes. You get my weekly work schedule posted every Friday. My animated sneak peeks of upcoming animated videos. And I'm, I'm giving away a $10 Amazon gift card to anyone who supports me on any, any tier level. doesn't matter what you support me at. For, and for $40 a month, remember, this is, you, you can support me at any tier level. So $40 a month, you can get merch delivered to your, to your house. Patreon, Patreon exclusive merch that they, that they designed and make. I did the design and they just produce it. It's my animated self. But um, on a mug, you get like four items. There's a mug, a, sh a, a hoodie, um, a long sleeve t-shirt, and a sticker. And um, if that's not for you, you can also send me money by giving me donations on my PayPal account. Send as much or as little as you'd like. Um, send... Send me gifts with the website thrown. If if I have a wish list set up, but if there's an item on my, not not on my wish list that you think I might enjoy, please send us in a request. I might add it to the cart to the to the the list. And finally, my my partnership with W Energy Drinks. Get ten percent off using my code in down in the description of this, of this video. Get ten percent off your your complete order of anything they have on their there. They come they they have their zero sugar, zero crash, great flavors to choose various flavors to choose from. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye. See you next video.